welcome to Fright Fest. Thank you. Great to have you um, and your film. Tell us a bit about it. Non-spoilery. <laughs> spo I can't even say it. Non-spoilery. Anyway, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, so um, our film is called Bring Out the Fear. It's, uh, it's an Irish folk horror about a couple in a doomed relationship who um, find themselves trapped in a woods that uh, sees them being tortured by malevolent forces. And that's it. We shot it um, back around 2009, at the tail end of 2019, just as the pandemic hit. So we had to kind of work through the end of that and you know, we're delighted to finally have it together to actually be able to show it to people now, finally in front of a live audience. And, and, and the idea for the film came from? It was me and my wife, who's also my producer, we just w were going for a walk in the forest that we ended up using in the film. And I was just taken aback by, you know, this forest had all these different areas that, you know, it seemed like one forest, it seemed like it was several different forests in one, you know, one section was very thick, the other one was very light, one of them was very dark, one of them was very open. And it just struck me that it would be so easy for me to get lost and never find my way out. And, you know, that was the kind of genesis of the idea. And then we kind of broke the story down. We kind of figured out what we wanted to do with it. Um, I started kind of bringing in the themes that I wanted to work with, really about the couple and the relationship and um, the idea of um, a, a relationship falling apart and mm. um, one, per one person wanting to, you know, uh, fix the relationship by getting married, uh, whereas the other person's entire idea is that the relationship should be over. Um, and of course, you know, I'm breaking that idea as me and my now wife are, uh, you know, talking about the idea of actually getting married, you know, she, uh, I, I swear to her that it had nothing to do with that, you know, it was completely coincidental. Oh, well, no, th that was going to be my next question based on <laughs> real life. <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> I, I swear, no, nothing, no, it says at the end of the film, you know, it's all a work of fiction, I swear. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> and how did you get, go about getting your cast? Cause I thought it was um, to cast an American, oh, an, an actor playing an mm -hmm. American was a, a I think that was unexpected for me. Yeah, well, that's just so, um, that be Tad, uh, he, presumably it's Tad there, he is, actually, funny enough, he's Brazilian. Um, oh, he, God, yeah. And that's what, I thought the exact same thing when I, he, uh, we just put out an open casting call, and his was, the, was really the only one that stood out out of all the casting or all the audition tapes we got. So I met with him, and I said, like, you know, oh, so what part of America are you from? He was like, oh, well, actually, I'm from Brazil. It's like, oh. geez. Um, but yeah, he just, he really, his performance just seemed to be exactly what I'd written on the page. And I just, I loved the idea of having, you know, even though I knew as an Irish film, you know, when you go out of Ireland with an Irish film, you know, it's always going to be an Irish film, you know, Irish locations, Irish actors. It doesn't, you know, there's no point in trying to pretend it's like, you know, an American film or, you know, mm. a really UK film or anything. And um, just having that kind of bit of diversity with someone from outside of Ireland in the cast, it just kind of opened it up a little bit to me. Mm. Um, and then having him work with Kira, who she's quite Irish through and through, um, and she was someone that we'd known and we'd worked with before, and she was the exact opposite, whereas he was exactly what I'd imagined the character to be on the page. I'd written the character for her to be a lot more of a, a gruffer kind of character, but then when she took it, she has this innocence about her that I just thought really worked well for, you know, just kind of, she's a very naturally sweet and kind of, has almost a, a, this innocence or unassumingness about her and to mm. kind of have her, but have little kind of sarcastic asides, it feels a lot more natural than it would for mm. maybe. Because Irish people, I mean, you probably know, like the same with Scottish people, it's like we have a, a massive sarcastic streak running through us all, you know? We do, we do. <laughs> and it's interesting, that, uh, I'm liking film. <laughs> film, like the way our Scottish people and Irish people pronounce film. <laughs> film. I can't think of any other way to say it. No, no. Uh, anyway, um, but, Irish film industry seems to be quite healthy. Yeah. But it obviously, it has challenges. What, what were the biggest challenges making this film? Obviously, getting the money. <laughs> well, that's. I don't think we got the money really. Um, we definitely didn't. I mean, we, myself and Alison, we paid for it just out of our own pockets, and um, it was it was solo budget. I mean, I honest God, there's definitely short films uh, at the festival here that that's catering budgets would have been more than our film cost to make, and it was just built on our personal relationships we had with people say Rowan, our DP, we'd worked with him on another film before uh, where he was doing set design, but he'd let me know that he was interested in doing camera work. I saw a reel of some of his stuff and I thought, you know, mm. we could really make this work and it turned out to be such a fruitful relationship. Again, Kira we'd known before, Tad was just someone who was game. He's, you know, he's a young actor hungry mm. for it. Mm. Um, and we sort of, we tried to keep the days down. We shot the film in pretty much 10 days, but in two five day blocks. Um, and that was to kind of cater for, it's easy enough to kind of convince people to kind of give their time uh, well, to a certain degree um, if it's in a short chunk so they can still go off and they can do paid proper yeah, paid work or big yeah. paid work 
um, and they can do this more as like something that they want to do. And I mean, everyone who was on, you know, I made sure very clear from the outset that like, you know, this is not going to be, you know, you're not going to be going and paying a, like, you know, your year's rent or anything like that with this. But it was all about just something we really wanted to do with it. And you know, when I wrote the script, you know, we, I don't think we really had to pair anything back because I kind of had a low budget idea in mind when we were putting it together. Um, but I mean, the main thing, like, without a doubt, our money really just went on to feeding people. Uh, the Irish film industry as it is really doesn't have a huge uh, body for funding things. Um, we have a government body that will give uh, funding, but it tends to be partnerships with a lot of other companies, a lot of UK companies actually. You'll see an awful lot of Irish films tend to um, end up with film four as well, that kind yeah. of thing. Um, whereas, so for us, I mean, there's a lot of people who are very deserving of that. They try to go for films that maybe are people who are going to struggle a lot more to get funding. And me and Alison just decided that, you know, we can get this little bit of money here to the side and make the film ourselves. We don't have to, you know, try, go through years of trying to get something going with a funding body. Mm -hmm. We can do this now ourselves. And, you know, it gives us a freedom to do it. And even though it's quite tough to do it under those conditions, even things like when you're finishing post-production on the film, like I edited the film, but the sound and the grade, we went off to uh, some other professionals. And again, it's, you know, cap in hand, yeah. trying to make favors with people. And it just, it worked out that, you know, the timing just happened to work out. Our co color grader happens to uh, be over in Sweden and they're a proper nice professional. Uh, they, and it just so happens the way Sweden works is that in July and August, the entire country is just off because they're the nice good months of the year. Mm -hmm. So they let us come over, or they, 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 we didn't go over, what am I saying? We were able to send the film over to them while it was completely dead for them work-wise. They did the film in that time, and now, now that we're hitting September, they're gonna be busy and out the door again, so they wouldn't have even been able to give us a look in. Mm -hmm. okay. So what's next for you? So, yeah, well, I just wanna kinda of keep going. I want to make a lot more horrors, obviously, yeah. but um, myself and Alison, we'd started, uh, well, we did the New Blood, or the First Blood, uh, in Fright Fest a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we pitched a film there that um, I absolutely love. It was Alison's idea, and I really wanna see us make that. Now, we need a bit of funding to actually make that one. That can't come out of our Greg, uh, pockets. Greg was telling me about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I remember we were <laughs> describing it to Barbara Crampton, and she uh, was a little disgusted by the idea. But um, we really, that's one I think would be great. I, I can imagine that, you know, if we can do it the way I'd see it, we could, I could see that being a fun, big, main screen kind of film. But we have just, we have a couple of ideas. We've got a couple of smaller ideas as well that we're, um, you know, gearing up to do. And at the moment, our biggest thing is pushing this film, pr pr making sure as many eyeballs as possible can see Bring Out the Fear. Mm -hmm. But I mean, this is what I love doing. I just, I love creating, I love horror. I mean, I'm beyond thrilled to be in Fright Fest with the film, to be able to share it with people who, you know, appreciate these kind of films. Yeah. And all I want to do is just keep doing that again and again and again, you know? Mm. Not bad ambition. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but it's, I'm delighted you're here. I'm happy mm. that the film's in the festival. I'm sure it'll play very well. Oh, thank you. And uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. Wow. So, that's fantastic. And for all your help with us getting it to where it is, we brought you a little something from Ireland. I don't know if you drink or not, but a little bit of oh, wow. Glendalough whiskey. So that's from just down the road from us. Oh, thank you very, very much. <laughs> wow.